Hello everyone, it's Shadow the Rat, and for today's Foraging Friday, I am going to be reviewing these foraging toys. So these are probably some of the simplest foraging toys I have shown. They might actually remind you of this bottoms up foraging toy, which is basically just three of these types of foraging toys, just, well, strung on a line. And these are just very simple. Uh, as you can see, the rats just have to move the top part which in this case is a piece of wood, and in this case is this plastic star, and in my DIY case is this cardboard, and once they move it aside, they can just get to the treat inside. So yeah, it's very simple. Um, it's easy to clean, easy to refill, easy to string up. It doesn't take too much space. Uh, there's a few different varieties. This one, for example, is the Oxbow Forging Pot. It's just this clay pot with a rope through the bottom and then this little wooden thing at the top that you can hang it up, this hook. And then it has this wooden piece on the string. And then the rats can get what food you put inside. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. That in the back is my DIY version. It's just a pot I got from the Dollar Tree. I actually got three of them, I think, for a dollar, so pretty good deal. And then it has a pipe cleaner in it, which is connected to a C-clip. And it also has a cardboard circle supposedly covering the front, although that didn't really work out too well. But yeah, as you can see, it's super easy to even make your own one of these. Uh, it's just a very, very simple foraging toy. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, there's really not too much else to say here. I mean, these are probably the simplest foraging toys I could show you. I think in terms of the two commercial ones here, uh, this one is probably more durable just because it's made of plastic. But I prefer this one because it's larger and, well, my rats aren't huge on chewing, so they haven't really chewed on the wooden piece and they haven't chewed on the rope at all, which was a kind of worry for me at first, but eh, it didn't end up being a big issue. I'm sure you've seen this in a lot of my cages because I pretty much always have this in my cage. That is uh, pretty much that. There really isn't a whole lot else about these. Um, what you see is what you get. <laughs> That's pretty much what I'll say. So yeah, thank you guys for watching, and as always, I hope you enjoyed. I hope to see you next time, and I hope you have a happy Friday. Bye!